Transit workers are handing out masks underground. It turns out the toxic air could be even worse on the subway. CBS 2's Alicia Reed explains. As trains continue to roll in and out of stations, some commuters continue to mask up. The air moves, so it's probably moving down, down in the subway system. Yeah. So better to be safe than sorry. Vincent Matos is right. A group of NYU PhD students that study air pollution says the last couple days, toxic air has become more concentrated. When we were measuring, we were measuring about 600 in either station, which is about two to maybe three times as much um, pollution as we normally would see. And also higher than the number meteorologists have been clocking outdoors. I think it just puts a, a, a bigger emphasis on why masks can protect you. On the open water, the New York waterway hasn't been as crowded. And a little bit less populated than usual, but nothing too substantial. Playing it safe, some passengers strapped on masks while riding the ferry to Hoboken. There are definitely people, you know, not wearing masks, myself being one of them, but you could definitely see people were a little bit more concerned about the air quality. Researchers say long term exposure to high levels of toxins can be detrimental. You can develop all these cardiopulmonary conditions such as emphysema, COPD, chronic bronchitis. If you have to be outside and commuting on public transportation, you're being advised to mask up until health officials determine otherwise. In Hoboken, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News. And we'll keep you updated on cancellations and changing conditions on CBS 2 News this morning starting at 4.30 a.m. Look for live team coverage as well as up-to-the-minute updates on that first alert forecast. Also stay with CBS 2 for the latest on our air quality alert. On our website, you can check out the latest radar and an in-depth explainer on air quality. That's all at CBSNewYork.com.